Hey guys, welcome to TGS, and today we're going to be looking at this, the Ritzini Round Body EL. So this gun sits nicely in the middle of Rizzini's range. It sits at about five grand and is their sort of middle range game gun. This state has got grade three wood and it is finished with checkering on the back there with a little plug so you can take the stock on and off as you like. Grade three wood, but it is a really nice bit of grade three wood. And the thing with the Rizzini is a lot like a couple of other Italian gun makers, they still thrive off of amazing quality wood. You're never wanting to pay extra for wood because you're usually happy with the bit you've got, which is nice because you shouldn't be wanting for nicer wood nowadays. There's still a lot of good wood around, and as much as good wood is in short supply, there's no reason to skimp on wood when you're spending five grand at least. You have the Prince of Wales grip here with the rounded pommel, and it's actually quite a bit fuller than a lot of other Prince of Wales you'll find, so perhaps not as dainty as others, but it's nice, and it's got a bit more of a curve to it. It's all right, it's a nice grip for larger hands, and I think for smaller hands where you can choke up on it, it's not too bad either. I much prefer their flat grip they put on their higher guns, but it is what it is. Just, I just, I just don't like the look of it. I mean, that's probably the basic line of it. And I like rounded Prince of Wales, but I think there's something about the way that it just juts out there. Doesn't really tickle me that much. Uh, laser, laser checkered and laser engraved with hand finishing. You have a slight gold inlay there, which is nice, and a gold trigger. They're the only two gold accents on the gun. You have a safety catch automatic with selector. Gold trigger, non-adjustable, being the game model. And you have this beautiful acanthus and floraless scroll all the way around it, which has that silver penny darkened background. It's nice, actually. If you look quite closely, there's just enough detail to make it interesting, but the action, as much as it is beautifully covered by all of this, is dominated by the game scene engraving, which is beautiful. You have a pair of grouse on one side and a pair of parchment on the others, both underlined with a Rizzini put in scroll. The four end iron is a basic four end iron that matches up just nicely and the four end attaches with a push button there. You have a little bit of engraving also, a little escutcheon in the bottom. The wood to metal fit on the four end is not amazing to be honest but it's better than most and the same on the action. You have a, a good sort of millimeter and a half all the way around there which is all right. It does sit a little proud but it's going to add strength and in any gun you do need a little bit of strength right. Inside the action it is a standard Rizzini which is well, pretty much solid as a rock. And the barrels are a 28 inch 12 bore on this one. And they have a solid mid and top rib on the EL and multi chokes, of which you get a full set of five with the gun. It is a little front heavy, uh, to be honest, it is a little front heavy, but that keeps the weight down and that is a positive. So, you know, this gun here is seven pound four. In reality, you could be lighter if you had fixed chokes in, uh, or if you put a weight in the back, you could balance out a little bit, but it's not horrific to handle. It's not horrific to handle at all. It is quite nice. The overall lines on this gun from the straightness of the stock, the beauty of that rounded English style forend, it is a good looking gun. I don't think you'd buy this because it's a round body. And I think perhaps there are perhaps better rounded round body actions out there, but it is beautiful. And that continuous engraving that rolls around the outside does look very, very good. In all honesty, I do feel like perhaps this falls on comfortably between the grade above and the grade below, but those game scenes do hold their own on there. And if you want the gun with the game scenes, this is the one to go for. And so now you've seen the upgrade, this is what you get for the basic. So here he is. This gun is 2000 pounds less than the around body EL. And let's see what 2000 pounds saving gets you. And that's why it's actually quite a lot. This gun is a really appealing gun. So you get grade two woodwork, which actually is grade three in reality. You know, they are so harsh on their grading because this is beautiful and you'd expect to find this on many other grade threes. What you do get is a plate on the back of your gun, but giving it a lot of people will have a pad fitted or have the length changed. Having it finished in wood, unless you're gonna go for a custom stock option, seems silly. So. If I was going for the EL, I'd want to go and get a custom stock built so that I'm, it, it's perfect, right? The plate, it doesn't bother me too much. It's not as nice, but 
it's not the end of the world. And it is hand finished and the wood is finished to the same degree, which is nice. You have the same rounded pommel there. You have the same checkering. You have a silver trigger as opposed to a gold trigger, which is not the end of the world. You have slightly less nice engraving. It's much bigger engraving, much less compact. However, because they use the use of these deep cuts and it's still hand finished, it appears, when you run your finger over it, you'll notice it's not as deep as it appears, but it appears much better quality than it is. You have a big scroll with big Rizzini. Yes, you do miss the quality of those game scenes and those beautiful little pounds on the side really are worth that extra money because it does look that much more beautiful, but this is not 2,000 pounds less beautiful, I think. You have, instead of the silver forend, the black forend iron, which I think on this gun actually works a little bit nicer because well, I just think it works a little bit nicer, actually. And it's not usually, I think usually I like a lot of silver, but I like that. The wood to metal fit is slightly less good, but not disgusting. You have the safety catch on the top, which is still single selective. You have the same mechanical internals. You have the same forend. One thing that I really prefer on the other one is that solid top rib, but a vented top rib is not the end of the world. It's one of those difficult questions in life, isn't it? Like when you're specking out a car is, ooh, do I go for the extra, it's, it's five grand for the technology pack, do I buy the technology pack? When in reality is, you don't need the technology pack, but you do want the technology pack. Essentially what I'm saying is there's no need to buy the round body EL over the M. But if you want to, I totally get it, because it is just that much more beautiful and that much more exclusive. However, I would probably only contemplate buying one if I went for the custom stock. Guys, it's been absolutely brilliant. It's been a pleasure to share these two guns with you because they are both beautiful in their own way. And like I said, I think this one represents great value for money. I think the other one is just very, very pretty. Take care. It's been brilliant. Let's actually shoot these. We've got the Rizzini brown body EM and EL, the basic and the slightly nice one. Okay. My current thoughts are that the basic one at two grand less, if one's three grand, one's five grand, the basic one to me feels the same and much better value and looks really good. Okay. Now these are the same basic as a, the 20 bore is just... They're bigger. They're just bigger. Yeah. So the plan is to take two shots or two pairs with the basic and then two pairs with the more expensive, the same pairs and it's trying to discern any shooting difference. Being a game gun, we're going to shoot it instinctively. John's just going to throw a couple of random pairs, although it's kind of throw random pairs for both, or else it's unfair because I know what's coming oh, for the okay, second. Gotcha. Whoa! Oh, Christ, that's not to huh? be shot like that. Whoa! All right, let's change on to the EL. Boom. Boom. Before I give my conclusions, we're gonna shoot the EM, the basic one, at the same driven pair I shot with that. Just one last two shots with the nice one. Oh. oh. So they are slightly different. The EL with the solid top rib does have a little bit more weight in it. And as such, it's a little bit more calculated when you're trying to push it up on those straight drivens. However, when it came to the crosses, that little bit less weight that comes in the EM came into fruition. In reality, both of them need a little bit of weight in the back just to make them a little bit more planted and calculated in the swing. However, for a game gun, you wouldn't want to add much more weight because they are not bad on the weight already. I honestly couldn't pick between the two, but I think if it was my money, I probably would buy the EM. I think it represents a better value for money. And I'm tight. So there you go. Simple as that really, isn't it? However, if you want game scenes, you're gonna have to buy the nice one. And it certainly does look nicer. So, 
If you're buying for looks and want to be special, buy the EL. If you're buying for looks and just want something that represents better value for money, in all honesty, is the EM. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Take care, goodbye, and we'll see you next time.